and my mom were in the car. We're heading to my brother's house to spend the night. Um, but my mom was pissed off yesterday because I was telling her Meyer had um had a meeting with everybody yesterday. This is the second person that's tested positive for the COVID-19 since I've been at Meyer. My mom's pissed off because she's like, well, how do you know if you've been in close contact with him? I said, well, Meyer can't legally disclose that information. It's a privacy act. Yeah, they could still kiss my ass. So... So, all, all they can tell us... They could all kiss my ass. Um, yeah, just ignore my just ignore my mom there. She's just being a moron. Anyway, um... So, anyway, so the only thing that Meyer can legally do is disclose, okay, the person tested positive, but they cannot give us the name or the department that they work in, so it makes us wonder, who. okay, who it was. Um... So I'm gonna be out of town for the next two days anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna you better be... better not get me sick, motherfucker. I got enough health problems. Yeah, so do I. So you wanna eat my ass? Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> and then my sister, um, she, she called earlier, she, and she's pissed off because she, um, basically, we go to my brother's house, and at the last minute, she finds out, and I was like, well, we just found out, the, uh, didn't we just find out, like, two days ago, we are gonna, yeah. go, gonna be going That's to Noah's? That's what I told her. I said, it's like, like, my brother doesn't tell us anything until the last minute, either. Yeah. Um, the, but the, the main reason why we're going out, anyway, is because we ordered something for him, and we're gonna take it to him. And so that's the only reason why we're going out there anyway. And they and then he talked us into spending the night, so we'll be back Saturday night because I got to be at work on Sunday. Um. And then my sister starts her new job. What you say, Friday? Next week, Friday. Yeah. So my my bony ass sister, who's only four foot eight, is gonna try to do a security job. <laughs> and um, and basically, and they want her. Yep, she's the shrimp of the family. <laughs> yeah, she's she's only four foot eight, and um, but, but they're paying her pretty good. It's like a little. Um, Thirteen fifty. Yeah, thirteen fifteen hours is what she says they're gonna pay her, and because she works at Dairy Queen, it's either she's gonna have to give up one. No, she said she told Dairy Queen she can't work uh, on she, the weekend. You're about to follow her. Um, yeah, so she can't. She, um, she's only be able to work Dairy Queen Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <coughs> Thursday. Yeah. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday she'll be doing security. Yeah. So anyway, oh, and I want to throw this in there too because Meyer just started doing this. They're adding a section into the Meyer where I work at. Now, if you're familiar with the ship with the Sphinx ship and DoorDash and all this other shit. Um, see, um, Meyer has people from like shipped and everything. They come in and they do shopping. Well, Meyer, well, Meyer is going to be starting their own shipped business. So it's, so they're so they're competing with shipped, the actual um, company in itself. So um, so they so they have a closed section off by the cafe where people sit at during their breaks, and they have that part closed off because they're adding that section in. So they're going to add a counter in. So basically. You call in advance. Um, some of the Meyer custom, some of the Meyer employees will do the shopping for the customers that call in, and then they send you an email saying, "Okay, your stuff is ready. Come pick it up." Isn't that like Walmart pickups and all that other yep. stuff too, and the deliveries? Yep, that's what that's what Meyer's doing too. So they're going to be in competition with Shipped anyway. So they're trying to put Shipped out of business. Um, only problem is, you have to be good with money, which I'm not. And somebody asked me, "Well, would you want to do it to make a little extra money?" I said, um, "I'm not very good with it." Uh, count money. I know that's my only bad thing. I'm very, I'm very horrible with counting money. <laughs> no, but I said so. Don't let the stereotype fool you. <laughs> You're still a dumbass. No, I was talking about Jews. They always say Jews are good with money. I'm not. Um, <laughs> well, then you're a lousy Jew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck off. <laughs> But anyway, so um, now we're heading out to my brother's house. It's gonna take about forty minutes, right? Yep. Yeah, he only he's not, he's a, he's like um he's about ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes outside of Dyer, so it's not that bad. That. That's because it's a big one. It doesn't stay. I know. Um, we might um and when we get there, I said we're gonna have to pick my brother up because my phone does it, but his phone doesn't. For my company, I can get my schedule off my phone without ever having to step foot in the building to know what my schedule is. And my brother says, "Well, he has to go Can't to." Can he just call them? He could, but then, but then, there, but there has to be somebody free to be able to check it for him. Um. So, but but no, but my brother Noah said that there should there should have been a um that um um that, with the app that that because app um because Joel has their own app where you can check certain things like you could check your pay like I could do that on my phone I could check my pay at my, um from Meyer on this Workday app. But you have to be. But you have to work for a company. But you have to work for a company that uses that app, like Meyer does, Target does. I think. I think Walmart does, but I don't remember. So if you work for like, so if you work for them, then you could check your pay, your schedule, 
my brother says, well, they're supposed to have, um, they're, like, Jill is supposed to have their way of, of you checking your um, schedule on the phone, but my brother says it never shows up, so it forces him to go inside the store to check it. And he gets pissed off about that. Now I'm about two weeks away from being at my six month mark from from um for Meyer, and then I'll see if you can fucking make it past a year. I should be able to. I haven't had Are any you problems. Kidding? You've had two fucking jobs. You didn't make it a year. McDonald's fucking sucked anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, and then the other one they closed up. Um, did they ever reopen back up? Nope. Again? They're still out of business. They laid off all the workers because and they were so uh, they're out of business. They yeah. shut down completely. Yep. And one, of the, and one of the guys I used to work with at this old job, it's called, it was called American Direct Sales. It was one of the first jobs I had out here. It was a picture framing company, shitty pay, but um. But at least it was full time. Not really. Oh, well, close enough. It was, I was only getting like 30 hours a week. Um, yeah, well, it's better than nothing. So anyway, but the, I look at this as better than no hours a week. And so eventually that company closed down because for whatever reason, um, Shipping orders were getting lost. Um, people were fucking up on, on 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 doing the framing for the um stuff, and because of that happening, it fucked up everybody's um pay, and it, and they started laying off workers. And oh, I'm gonna lay up right there because it's not gonna stand up. And so they start so they laid off about 90% of the workers. I was one of the workers that was laid off. This other guy Santos I used to work with at ADS got laid off, so now he's unemployed. I talked to him once in a while. And he messaged me the other day saying, is there any job available that he can do? I said, right now, I said, all that's left is grocery stores and fast food. He said, he doesn't want to do fast food. I said, well, if you want, I said, I said, I said, if you want, I can put in a good word for you at Meyer and see if they, um, if they, if you want to come in. And so I, so I put in a good word for that, for him. And so now he's just waiting back on his interview. Did he fill out the application? Yeah, I told him to do it online. Okay. But I told him, I said, I could put in a good word for him. I said, he is a good worker. And so, um. And he asked, I said, I said, um, I said, what do you want to do? I said, exactly at the job. I said, do you want to do carts? Do you want to do stocking? Do you want to do door grading? He said he wants to do door grading. I said, that's going to be. Everybody wants to do that. It's an easy job. Yeah, door grading. Um, he said he wants to do either door grading or stocking. I said, if you do stocking, you got to be fast. I said, from what I've been told. And you got to work overnight. Yeah, and I told him that. I said, to be a stocker, you have to um, have every. So if you open up a box and depending on the aisle that you're in. You gotta have you gotta have every item out of that box and on the shelf in two minutes. So that makes it so it makes it a little bit of a competition, but they pay more for overnight stocking because it's a lot more work and a, and nothing good ever happens after midnight. So that's why. <laughs> yep. And so basically, the starting pay for a stalker is ten eighty an hour, which I wouldn't mind doing. Um. So um. And then my sister, oh, so let me get back to my sister here too. So she's going to try to do, um, what she say? The little like, shrimp. So the little shrimp, I was going to try to do security. <laughs> Somebody's trying to sell their car. Yeah. So anyway, um, so anyway, um, so anyway, so my, shrimp, my shrimp, my shrimp of a sister who's only four foot eight is going to try to do security at a sheriff's department. What she said, Lake County or Cook County? Cook County. Oh, Cook. Like Cook County, I think is what she said. Cook County or Lake County, I can't remember what she said. I might have been Cook County. But she said it was supposed to be something for the Sheriff's Department, and they want her boyfriend to work there, too. So let's see if her the... Her fiancé. Oh, yeah. Well, they now it is. Oh, they changed it? To what? Enos Pattery. Patio. Oh, whatever. Okay, yeah. But that, that used to be the um that Mexican restaurant. And that used to be something else before that, too. Yeah. So anyway, um, so they're going to try to do security. Um... And even though my sister said it was thirteen fifty an hour, I said between the two of them, if they do it, they're going to be bringing in twenty seven dollars an hour between the two of them. And it, it's better, and it will be better pay than the ship than the shitty ass job at Dairy Queen that she's getting um, that she's doing. Doesn't she? I, I think she makes like eight something an hour at Dairy Queen. I said it's not. Oh, I thought she said she made ten dollars an hour. At Dairy Queen? Yeah. And I'm making more than her. Shit. Now she's gonna be making more than me when she starts. She said something year. about nine or ten dollars an hour she was making at Dairy Queen. But with this one, with the 1350, she said they're going to start her off on weekends, see how she does, and, as, and if she does okay, then they're going to move her to full time, which is about 40 hours a week. And uh, then she's quitting Dairy Queen altogether. She said if she gets the full time, but she doesn't know. Which how I don't long blame her. Be. Which I don't blame her if she does. I don't blame her for quitting Dairy Queen if she wants to, because for one, it's a shitty paying job. And she's got to think about Tessa, though, too, because now she's got to think about it. Yeah, because she can't be anywhere far away from where she has to go see her daughter. 
Well, I mean, no, I was thinking about she needs a better paying job so she can try to get her back. <laughs> Good walk. Because the court's told her. She just doesn't, I know, but she doesn't have a stable uh, place to stay, which is why she's with Cut. someone else right now. But, yeah, but if she can get this job to take off and, it, and it's paying thirteen fifty an hour, she's going to be making about a couple grand a week, maybe. Wouldn't she? Mm, I don't know. Well, it depends on if they pay every week or bi-weekly. If they pay bi-weekly, then it's going to be probably a couple grand a month. But, yep, so we're going to head out to my brother's house, and then if I decide to post any videos there, then that's my decision. But, um, who knows? And I'll see you guys later.